Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to tie a, a streamer pattern. This is a um, it's a little black streamer. This one's the articulated one um, for the bigger fish. But I've had um, loads of success last season on a single hook. It's got the fish gull head, which gets it down, and obviously when you're stripping it, it wiggles. Well, like I say, this is the articulated one. I found black worked the best for me last season. I'm really getting into this stream of fishing now, so hopefully get a few more patterns out. So that's the black one. I've also got a olive one where I've just tied. This is um, it's basically marabou, uh, olive mar marabou on the back and um, I got ice, pearl ice dub body at the bottom and a couple of silly legs. You can see it moves pretty loosely. So I'm looking forward to giving these a go when the trout season opens. But uh, this one I'm just going to do a single hook. See, so, yeah, work amazing for me last season. Uh, I got some really big fish on it. So the hook I'm using is a hens um, streamer hook, barbless. It's a BL724 and it's a size six, this one. I do them on all different sizes as well. I think uh, size six is about the best I've found up to now. So thread, black thread. So I'll tie on behind the eye and work my way back. Just past the hook point. Just give me scissors. I'll trim off the excess. Pretty simple as fly to tie and marabou is the main, the main ingredient for it. So I'll take two marabou feathers and I'll line them up as you would with CDC. Bottom guys, one of them is a bit cockeyed. I'll just pull them together. This is going to be the tail. Just wet them a little touch to make it easier. So I want them, I'm going to tie these in just a little bit bigger than the hook shank. So maybe he's a hook shank and a half. I'll tie this in at the back. Which makes it easier. Once you get your, um, your length sorted out, just cut just above. Just when you're tying in, the rest of the marabou tries to spin around the hook. So I found this to be a little bit easier. So I'll come in and tie that down tightly so it stays on top of the hook. Shank. I'll come in and work my way up. Getting that down nice and tight so it doesn't spin. Like so. Right to the back bit again. All right, so once I've got the marabou tail in, I'm going to tie some, it's called blob tail capes from Flybox. Um, this one's in black. It's a little bit of a, it's got a nice shine to it. So I'm just going to cut about four or five strands off. This is optional, by the way. So I'll measure the length of the tail on one side and I'll tie that in. Just a few turns, then I'll swing it onto the other side and tie that in. And I'll trim it off to the same length as the tail. Right, so that's, that's the tail complaint now. So uh, the body, I'm going to use some Spectra Flash dubbing. This is from Saibai, and it's um, in fiery black. I want a good pinch of this. You can use any any sparkly dubbing you want. As long as it's got some flash in, just get the fish's attention. I'll just lick my fingers a touch. 
get this on. So once I've got this on the hook, I want to um, mess it all up to get all the fibers, pull them back. That's I'll show you. Just it looks scruffy now, but these flies just doesn't matter. As you can see, it's it's all over the place to do it. But not to worry. Going with um my dubbing brush and just really rough that up, pulling all them fibers back. Get some sparkling there. Right now, with the, the rest of your marabou feather, once you've cut the tips off, tying the tail, I'll just pair them up together, like so. I could do a double, uh, uh, double loop, but I find this is a little bit easier. So, come in. Use me Petter John material clip and just, just like you would with CDC, just come in and trim them off. This is going to be a hackle. So I've got them in there now. I'll get my double needle and split my thread. Insert the material clip. So, make sure they all spread out nice. Now spin your bobbin clockwise to tighten them all down. There you go, it's starting to spin now. Couple more. Just have to do a few extra ones with this Marabout just to get it. Now wind your bobbin up and that tightens everything down. Just make sure all the feathers are pointing out. Now start winding and just lick your fingers a touch and just pull them back every turn just to get them facing backwards. Try and leave a little gap at the hook eye. As you can see, just a few mil just to as you'll see in a minute. Drop your bobbin, spin it anti-clockwise, then take your dubbing brush again and just get all them feathers facing backwards and tidy it all up a little touch. Like so. Come in and give that a whip finish. Trim off your thread. So these are the fish skull bait fish heads, and this is in a size small. Um, on the articulated one, I've gone up a size just so it's a little bit heavier. That one's a size small to medium. I do them in a uh, large as well, which um, just got to experiment how heavy you want the fly to be, and it swims differently. So with a touch of super glue, I'll just pull these feathers back. With a touch of super glue, I'll just dab a little bit into the feather and behind the eye, and you have to be quick with these. Now, place. Fishkull helmet in there, like so. I'll just pull a few of these fibers out just to get it more fluffy around the head. Sometimes they get trapped. Right, that should be. 
pretty secure now. I'm gonna put the eyes on. So with them fish skull helmets, you get the eyes with them. So you won't be able to see this too good, but I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of super glue on. After you put your super glue on, just get your fish skull eye and place it on. Come around the other side, exactly the same again. A little, you only need the tiniest dab of super glue. I mean, these eyes they do fall off, but <laughs> um, they still work, so you don't necessarily need them on, but it just looks effective like that as you can see right so just let them dry touch i'll take some pink thread just for extra um so the fish skull helmet doesn't fall off just for extra security i'll just Tie that in at the front, trim off the excess, and just build it up a little bit just so it's not going to fall off. That should do it, and just whip finish. Like so. Trim that off. Um, I'll take a touch of UV resin. You only need a little bit just around the thread wraps. Come around. Then just a touch around the eyes. I usually use the Gulf Thinman, but I've run out. I need to order some more. Looks a bit sloppy. Um, it's because it's the classic, it's a little bit thicker. Well, soon sort out and I spin my vice level it all out right I'll do it for now I'll just spin this vice just to sort that UV resin out even it all out touch there right come in with your light and just Set that resin. And at the front. That should do it. Just keeps the eyes on a little bit longer. I mean, they will eventually fall off, but see, it's uh, and these. This has resulted in my PB. Last year it was a three and a half pound wild brown trout. It was in the same day I got um, three over three pound on this same pattern. I got a two that was bang on three pound and one three and a half. And I missed it quite a lot more as well. I caught a few smaller ones as well. But when I'm fishing these, I'm just chucking them to the far bank and just stripping fast in the jig as you're stripping them. And you can see the fish following them. And you just slam it from nowhere. It's, it's amazing to, to do. I, like I say, this this coming trout season, I'm gonna try and dedicate a lot more time to fishing these. Um, I really enjoyed it. So there you go, a little black marabou streamer. Uh, give this one a go, and thanks for watching. Tight lines.